Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Thousands of people in New Jersey who were behind on their rent because of the pandemic were this close to being thrown out on the streets. But then Governor Phil Murphy came to the rescue and signed an extension to the eviction moratorium. Our Kimberly Kravitz says this is a national problem that's hitting New Jersey hard. Kimberly. New Jersey's eviction moratorium is ending earlier than expected after the state Senate and Assembly approved a new comprehensive housing bill that would commit $500 million in federal money to rental assistance. But for some, the damage is already done. Right now, couch surfing. So basically, you know, friends and family until I can find a place. Darlene Demers didn't have an address for us to meet her for this interview. She is just one example of someone that fell on hard times during the pandemic. In New Jersey, uh, there's really nothing affordable because affordable isn't affordable. Before COVID, I had my job that I was with for years. And when COVID hit, I had to downsize the company. He let us go. You know, a handful of us uh, were let go. Abby Kofsky of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation tells us that the housing crisis is actually more of a health crisis. Because we saw that when families were evicted from their home, uh, it would increase their risk of transmission for their family and their community. But only one in four have been able to receive that emergency rental assistance. Um, there, there's a real challenge, and, and we see that there are about 11 million households that are behind on their rent, right? So nobody's alone in this. This is this is a real big, you know, nationwide challenge. There's two pieces to the moratorium. One is the eviction that was extended through July 31st to give tenants enough time to apply for assistance. The moratorium preventing foreclosures on homes during the pandemic was set to expire on June 30th, but the Federal Housing Finance Agency extended that through the end of the year. This allows the um, sellers a little bit more time to get their financing together and make decisions. Gina Sapner of Redfin wants to set the record that this won't mean an overabundance of properties coming back on the market all at one time. Once the eviction is lifted, people are under the impression that there's going to be a mad rush of properties coming on the market. However, normally in New Jersey, evictions take three to four months to schedule. We're already 15 months behind, so there's not going to be a floodgate opening of properties. It's going to be systematic. Advocates for landlords and tenants such as Matt Shapiro of the New Jersey Tenants Organization agree that the housing bill is one of the most comprehensive in the nation and gives some light at the end of the tunnel for both renters and homeowners. Homelessness in, in a pandemic, which is what eviction causes, uh, it's pretty close to a death sentence in many cases. Shapiro, an advocate for tenants, believes that the system is too harsh on the working residents like Darlene, who just had tough luck during the COVID-19 lockdown. These, these tenants are victims. They, they didn't do anything. This, this, this entire concept of evicting them and, and now doubling the amount that, that they owe possibly, uh, is, it's totally unfair that all they did was lose their jobs because the government did a shutdown, messes thing, had to. If I was, I guess, down on my luck or had a kid or had no food, there are places like shelters, but I'd rather stay on a couch, I feel safe. Lawmakers, landlords and tenants have been haggling for months over a way to end this eviction moratorium. The proposed measure sits on Governor Murphy's desk. Reporting for Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz. All right, thank you, Kimberly. Still to come on Jersey Matters. I'm Phil Andrews, and coming up on Jersey Matters, we'll talk about how churches here in the Garden State are still dealing with the after effects of COVID-19 one year after the height of the pandemic.